Hi, my name is Mark Sutherland. I'm the president of Sutherland Presses, and I'd like to show you some of the range of products we offer. In the background is our 66 ton single point gap frame press, which we make from 35 to 300 ton. The Sutherland press comes with the iPress control, uh, has a lot of features for automatic operations as well as secondary operations. As you can see here, you've got a list of programmable cams that you can turn on, change the angles, which helps in automation of the press. Uh, you've got an OK monitor, preset counter, brake stopping time for safety, and the different modes of operation. So, inch mode, single stroke mode, continuous mode is key selector, continuous arming button, and you depress the two run buttons until the arming light goes out, and then it'll continue in automatic operations. You've got emergency stop, forward reversing main motor, motorized slide adjustment, fault reset button, top ram stop, top stop, mode selector. So ram stop will stop the slide immediately and leave all of the motors running. You'll see you've got a ram stop fault here. You clear that by hitting the reset, back to inch, and you're ready to go. Another cool feature on the Sutherland Press is the hydraulic overload release. So for those of you that have ever stuck a press at near bottom dead center, I'll simulate that, inching it down to the bottom. If you're stuck there on a press without hydraulic overload, as you know, it'd take a long time to get it back in operation. With our keyed release switch on the overload, by turning the switch, you're gonna get an overload fault it releases the hydraulic pressure under the ball seat, which gives you about a quarter inch of clearance to cycle on through and go to the top, which I'll demonstrate now. So overload, you go to inch, reset, inch, keys back on, reset, and you're ready to go back into production. On the Sutherland presses, we've got a little more sophisticated than our KC line, which we'll show you that a little bit later. But on the Sutherland press, you've got a variable frequency drive, which gives you a range of SPM strokes per minute, a dual voltage transformer. So whether the press is going to Mexico, Canada, US, you can switch voltages from uh, 580 in Canada, 440, 220, so it'll fit any country. And then our main electrical panel is well thought out and with a lot of safety in mind. So we have the high voltage on top, behind the plexi cover. All of the interior of the panels are painted orange so they meet all the safety standards for Brazil and other countries. So high voltage on top, dual PLCs, programmable logic controllers with expansion modules. Those are cross-checking, so there's no possibility of clutch brake tripping inadvertently. Uh, safety relays, logic relays, and then terminal strips. Very clean, done to our US standards and meets CE requirements for Europe as well. Again, everything's pretty much tailor-made for safety for operators in the plant. Around the back side of the press, so you've got a Siemens main motor up on top, which is controlled by the variable frequency drive. You've got an encoder that's monitoring slide position. We've got a clutch and brake and a flywheel brake, so we can stop the flywheel during die changes, so there's no possibility of the operator getting his hands pinched. Our air centers on the back of the press, the rear doors, 
on the press all have magnetic interlock switches. So when the door is opened, that will stop all functions of slide motion, flywheel motion, and protect the operator. And then around on the other side of the press is our uh, ID and warning plates, obviously, our main gear bath site level indicator, flywheel brake grease lubrication nipple for lubricating the flywheel bearings once a year, automatic grease lubrication system, which is tied to the iPress control, and you can regulate how much grease based on the speed you're running the press. This is only filled through the bottom. As you see, we have a protective guard on the top, and that prevents air getting into the grease system so you don't have to bleed it. And here is the automatic oiler for the air counterbalance system, which are the two cylinders on the top of the press that equalize the upper die weight when dynamic loads depending upon upper die weight and the speed of the press. We also include as a standard feature side guards which can be taken off for automated operations. The lower section of the side guard is removable, allowing you to keep the master guard on if you want to add coil feeders or outbound scrap cutters. And they're at a six foot level so nobody can reach over and enter the pinch point on the press. So this gives you a pretty good idea of the single point gap frame series and we make these from 35 to 330 ton. In the next clip we're going to show you our double point gap frame series and our single point straight sides. Thanks for considering Sutherland.